Hello guys, BMD Zero here, and I'm going to be telling you how to make a clothing store or a store on Roblox Studio. In case if you want to make like a roleplay game or something. So first, start with stretching out a block and making the floor. I'd recommend using carpet, the carpet texture, or on here... It says that it's the uh, fabric. Then when you want to make your walls, um, press plastic. Then you can choose any color you want. I'm just going to use this. Also, P.S. Anchor your blocks down. So then you want, you want to click part. Then it will spawn a part. Then you want to stretch out the block you have to have the whole entire floor. Then you want to make the walls as high as you want. Sorry, I have collisions off. Then you want to copy and paste one side, which you uh, right click, and then you do duplicate. Then you have an extra wall above it. Use the move tool. Then you want to move it to the side. Then you want to line it up. So your back wall might not be as even as the front or the right and left walls. So you want to repeat the process of pressing part. And then resize it so it fits and move it around and stuff. So there you go. You got your, your back wall, your left and right wall, and the floor. Now here comes the tricky part. You gotta make the front wall. So you may think, beam D zero, it doesn't sound that hard. Well, it is. So again, press part, then size it again, then you want to just bring it over here, and bring it into the middle as good as you can. Then you wanna copy and p paste the, or you wanna copy the, the block you place it down, move it to the floor where it's lined up. There you go. Now you got a big space for a door. So here comes the tricky part. You might want to turn off collisions or join surfaces if you want. So then you just want to spawn in your part, turn it around, then you want to, uh, want to either, you can either do the T button if you want to tilt it, or uh, you can use the rotate tool. Then you want to use the move tool again, then you want to move this block so it's on top of the little space you left. So then you want to have your little block up there, then you want to size it out like this. Press the scale tool. Then you want to move it to there. Uh, if you have collisions off, then it might go through other blocks. So now you want to bring down it until you probably get there. And don't don't forget to anchor it. So now you got a hole into inside of the building. So there we go. We got this building almost done. So now on to the roof. So once again, out of many times, click the part button. You want to put your part in one of the corners. Then you want to press the scale button. Then you want to scale it until it goes to the other side. And uh, do that with the other sides. Like, you, um, you have to, like, you have to go over here to do it. So, uh, I'll just show you, like, spreading out the wall. So, if you have collisions on, it will be clear like that. So, yeah, let me do it real quick. So, this part is an optional thing. You can either size it up to fit your text, or you want to put your text on top of the build. Then, this is when you really want to use collisions off. In the search bar of the toolbox, look up light. 
Then you want to take, you put in one of these lights. Just make sure it's not too bright. Like, if it's, if you add a night thing in your game, just make sure it's not really bright. Like, you can kind of see it from outside the building. So, I'll tell you which one you should use. So, one of your first things that comes up is light of light. See, look, that, that doesn't take up much light. So then you might use the scale tool again to stretch it out a little bit so it goes around the whole store. Then you want to turn your collisions off and then put the light into the roof. You might want to size the like roof so it's thick enough to put the light through it. And you might have to scale it out a little more. Or you could also copy it and put many of them together. That's what I do. Um, another thing is the light thing might take you like 10 or more minutes. So it, it takes a while. You gotta like copy and paste them and then use the move tool and move them out. And uh, having collisions on is actually good for it. So yeah, here's the next step. So before you're decorating, you might want to go outside. So you want to, uh, in the search bar, you want to search up text. You want to do this first result here. It's called text. So then you want to move the text in wherever you want it to be. So on my clothing store, I'm going to... Um, so if you use this one, um, this is like my recommended one. But you want to stretch it out. It kind of looks funny. <clears throat> then you want to put it up like that. And then here's the tricky part. You might be thinking, um, well, how do I make the sign say something? So go to the View tab, open up uh, Explorer and Properties. Then you want to select Text here. So then you want to click the Sign, uh, Happy Face, and then Surface GUI, and then Text. Then you want to go down to the Properties. And then you want to go to text. So you can also change the font to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to the uh, cartoon one. Because that's what they use in like Life in Paradise. My game is inspired by it. Then you want to click text here. Then enter anything you're going to enter here. So then when you're done, you want to you wanna, uh, click enter, and then you'll have your text. If you're making it on top, here's an optional thing. You can uh, click part again. So then you could like scale the block and then um, put it be behind your sign to make it look realistic, but you don't have to. Now you can put your decorations. I'm going to put them in. Um, here's a tip. Uh, turning off colli collisions can be good because you can, like, put your models through it instead of having to, like, go inside of it and then, like, using the move tool and stuff. So, uh, I'm just gonna enter my things and then it'll be the end of the video and I'll show it to you. So, I'm finally done with the decorations. It took me, like, I don't know, ten minutes, uh, five. So, um... I did this clothing store thing. This is a um, inspiration from Island Life's like adoption center in the game, um, and I think I overdid it with the things inside. So I'll show you inside. So I added one of those like uh, clothes giver things, and then uh, the face changer. So I might add hats too. So this room is basically the avatar editor. It's just there's a uh, not as much as you think on the actual avatar editor. I don't think there's any uh, actual working ones, though. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably check sometime soon. So, yeah, that's how to make a store or a building or something on Roblox. So, yeah, um, if you like this video, well, hit the like button and press the subscribe button. 
Uh, and if you want more videos like this, like how to build other things on Roblox Studio, um, comment in the comment section what you want. Uh, some things I might not know because I, I've not really used it like a professional. And uh, I, I figured out how to make this clothing store. I was just like messing around with bricks and stuff. Like the blocks on there. And I made like a store like this. So yeah, I'm gonna add, add some hats in here. And this game will be available to the BMD Zero fan group in a few weeks or days. So yeah, bye. And if you want more videos like this, hit the like button, comment the thing you want, and subscribe. So yeah, bye.